Key West, Florida is a city with character, and it is full of characters. I meet a conky character who makes his living fishing for arguably the hardest fish to catch on fly. He's the next generation of fly guides using modern technology to help preserve something ancient. This is the story of world angling, and we're being guided by Captain Will Benson. This is Guided. Key West is well known for the parties on Duval Street and its crazy nightlife. But for me, the best thing about Key West is a sunny day heading out into the Keys and chasing permit on the fly. The first time I ever went permit fishing, I was in Abaco in the Bahamas, and I actually caught a permit on my first cast. I like that for that. How do I like that? That is awesome. Permit on the fly isn't supposed to be as easy as that. Today, Captain Will Benson is going to show me the intense sport of catching permit in the Keys. Born in Key West to a couple of mainlanders who made the Keys their home in the 1970s, Will had an immediate love for the water. I remember my father and I built this little boat out of pressure treated plywood, caulk, and screws. He had a concrete block as an anchor, and he could be in the boat by himself as long as he didn't leave our sight. And I'd just sit there for hours and look out and think about things, and, and I'd do a little fishing, but it was more, I was just eaten up by it. I was captured by the ocean. And he would spend hours by himself on this boat with the breezes coming in, sensing the currents and watching the fish go by underneath. And so he's always definitely had a, a fascination for the water and being on the water. School of permit. Yep, right there, go. Long shot, go, 80 feet. Move it to the right, touch. More right, more right. Done, you're done. Sorry. <laughs> Just like, like that. The window's like that big. The ocean in its soul is a fabulous puzzle, and you can never put it together. The best you can do is assemble little corners in little pieces and, and understand small bits at a time, and then it changes, and the puzzle pieces get scattered again. Yeah, growing up at the marina around captains, I was told, you know, when I screwed up, and it, it, was, uh, it was a big deal. And I learned pretty quickly to, you know, find my own fishing spots and to do my own thing and pay really close attention to where the fish are or I'd, you know, screw up the fishing. And to this day, I, I try to really be mindful of where I'm running the boat around to not, you know, disturb the, the habitat and to disturb the fishery. Well, I think what Will brings one is a tremendous amount of local knowledge. He grew up here. He grew up on the water here. He's a lot like a fish. Sometimes I think he thinks like a fish. And that's the right type of thinking to catch permit in the waters Will considers the big show. Sight fishing for permit on the flats here in the Florida Keys is arguably the hardest, most challenging type of outdoor recreational activity you can do. Over the last few years, anglers around Key West were noticing changes in fishing patterns. Will believes that may be caused by cruise ships. We get 350 of these guys a year, which is 700 trips up and down the main ship channel. Right. And every single time they come in and out of the harbor, they're ripping up the sponges and the sea fans and the live bottom and churning up the mud again. So it never gets a chance to like settle, you know, and, and, and have other things, the seagrass grow on top of it. And so, why is that important? Well, the sedimentation of the whole waters and the reef, you know, it, it suffocates it, kills it. Right. And with regard to the fishery, what does that do? Well, when you don't have live bottom, the fish aren't as comfortable. The issue was so controversial that Key West officials turned the dredging proposal into a referendum, allowing the people of Key West to speak their mind. And Will Benson and his brother Jolly led the anti-dredging movement. We just started working together and then we started mounting a campaign and the information started coming along and we never let up. The lead up to the referendum, it was really, uh, it, it was a, a tough time for the city of Key West. There were big emotions on both sides of this. We were being outspent. We were being, uh, they had different media outlets. They had television, which we did not have. They had 
twice the radio ads that we had. They had bigger ads in the newspaper. Total media campaign blitz. It was on every channel. We'd watch football and you'd see the, the commercials. And I think 48 hours before, we both sit, my brother and I were both sitting in a room and we honestly were, were really scared and we were really worried that this thing you know, might not turn out for us. Coming up, the people of Key West vote on the fate of their waters.